Staying in a Casa Particular is a lot like visiting long-lost relatives. You're a guest in someone's private home. And now that the U.S. has relaxed restrictions on visiting Cuba, staying at a casa will help qualify most American citizens under the person-to-person -person category for approved travel. It's a great way to connect with everyday Cubans and get their perspective on possible changes coming in the future, should the U.S. Congress vote to lift the embargo once and for all. Talking to the casa owner, she tells me, well, we'll see what happens. If Obama can put an end to the embargo and close the base at Guantanamo, bring internet and bring well-being to the people, it'll be a crazy day. It may be the dawn of a new day in Cuba, but for us, it's breakfast. There are hard-boiled eggs, fresh juices, tea, coffee, and toast topped with either homemade guava jam or a fresh coconut spread that looks a little bit like oatmeal. Today we're heading out to explore Trinidad's countryside, but first we have to stop by Enrique's house down the street to get our car. He's got a secure driveway that can accommodate a handful of vehicles. Located about 10 minutes from Trinidad on the road to Cienfuegos is the Parque El Cubano, which is a great place for a hike. It has a swinging bridge, nature trails, a cave, swimming holes, and a waterfall that plunges into a deep natural pool. Allow two to three hours for a visit, which includes a brief stop at the ranger's house on the way. He lives there and grows medicinal herbs for tea and takes care of the building on behalf of the government. Just a bit further, we come to the Yavira waterfall. The park ranger explains that we can jump from the ledge above the natural pool, and despite some apprehension, we can't wait to get into the water. After getting used to the idea, though, we decide to go for it. The icy cold water is a bit of a shock at first, but it's a refreshing post-hike cool down. There's a swimmable cave system that extends behind the waterfall. I never swam in a cave. Some visiting American National Park rangers we met warned us about a snake inside. You gotta be careful, it has a viper head on it. Oh, so, goodness. <laughs> yeah. I had my head right on him, he didn't do a damn thing. Are you kidding me? No. I, swim. <laughs> I thought they were joking at first, so we didn't go very far behind the falls. But that's okay, we still had fun. 